Hey everyone, I'm Asha. And I'm Flavia here with The Drop at Cool Flame TV. And we're talking all things hip hop. With fresh music, fashion, and urban culture. Last night, rapper Pitbull hosted the 2013 AMAs. He was trying, but he wasn't that good as a host. He wasn't funny, and he kept referring to himself in third person. So it's kind of weird. Hmm, and with the heist, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis beat out Jay-Z and Kendrick Lamar for Hip Hop Album of the Year. And Rihanna, of course, won her very first Icon Award. Um, and she broke the internet with her hairdo, or hair do not. And Twitter went in on Little Mama last night. She was a guest uh, performer with TLC. And I think it was a little bit uncomfortable for most fans to just kind of see her doing her best impression of Left Eye. I think she did a really good job um, considering, but a hologram would have been great. It's 2013. Well, drama aside, my favorite part of last night's VMAs was definitely the red carpet fashion. This year, the men dominated the red carpet. Tiger looked fresh in a gold Saint Laurent jacket and black hat. Kendrick Lamar kept it simple and sleek in an all-black ensemble, while 2 Chainz stood out in a bright, printed, vintage Versace number, the way only he can. The ladies showed quite a lot of skin this year. The most revealing looks, of course, went to Sierra and Riri. The two divas have been going back and forth a lot this year, and both of them rocked floor-length see-through designs. But my favorite fashion killer of the week was definitely Little Mama. The actress slash rapper has had quite a comeback this year, and she hit the red carpet looking gorgeous, flawless, and confident in a beautiful green and black floor length gown. Now check us out at Cool Flame with the hashtag FantalkFashion and tell us your favorite picks for the red carpet this year. Asha, what was your favorite? Two chains, definitely. I was very inspired to go play Tetris. <laughs> First, Young Jeezy blasted his former record label, Def Jam, for allegedly stalling his album for two years. Then, he announced to the world that this Wednesday he's going to be dropping his new mixtape, It's the World 2. I feel like this is going to be really, really good, so I'm really excited about this new project of his. Starting next Monday, The Drop is going to have a whole new segment called Fresh to Death, where we give props to local talented artists, so musicians, dancers, tattoo artists, graffiti artists, whatever, you name it. So if that describes you, or you think there's an artist that we need to know, then tweet us at CoolFlame and use the hashtag fresh to death to let us know. Well, that's it guys. You can watch The Drop every Monday right here at Cool Flame TV. And please send us those tweets. We love hearing from you guys. Also, check out Fan Talk starting next Friday, a show where you, the fan, gets a voice. Hit us up at Cool Flame and you might see your tweets featured. Yes, and don't forget to check out that new Young Jeezy mixtape dropping this Wednesday, It's the World 2. And let us know what you think about the snowman's new music. Use the hashtag FantalkANR. Bye guys, I'm Flavia. And I'm Asha with Cool Flame TV. First to be fresh. We love you guys.